Last season, Arizona State men's tennis dominated in Tempe. The Sun Devils went 14 and 11 in arguably the best conference in the country, the Pac-12, along with two invitational tournament championships and a high ranking of 13th in the nation. Those accolades may seem good, maybe even great, but when you think about where this program was before the year, it seems unbelievable. This was the first season the Sun Devils had played as a team since 2008. I think every time we're out there, we know that we're like kind of the new kids on the block and uh, having a good run last year is a good start to the program, but there's a lot for us to complete. You know, we have a lot of goals. In 2008, due to financial restraints, ASU had to disband its men's tennis program. It was announced in 2016, but not put into action until 2018, when ASU men's tennis continued on in Tempe. The man behind all this, Athletic Director Ray Anderson. You realize that, what do you mean we don't have a men's tennis program? We got a great women's program, what happened to it? And then when they tell the story, how it went away with the recession, uh, it became very clear to us that men's tennis had to return to ASU. And so we struck out to figure a way to do that. The Andersons found a way to do just that in a very selfless way. Ray and Buffy donated $1 million of their own personal money to bring back this program. For an athletic director to make a contribution of that caliber, it's practically unheard of. I literally thought that they were just saying that, no, we put a million dollars in, like Arizona State put a million dollars in. And then when it like really connected the dots with me, like, no, no, he put his own personal money in, then it was, okay, that's, that's totally different. If it wasn't for them, we really wouldn't be here. There's a lot of athletic directors in the country that maybe talk about making their schools better or talk about making their, the sports at the school better. And I really believe in that actions speak louder than words. So when Ray speaks, it's nice, but you, he also backs it up with his actions. And of course, we feel that this is a very unique experience. The Andersons weren't only passionate about the sport of tennis, but as the recently hired athletic director, Ray felt it was important to help make this impact. When we knew it was something that needed to be done, uh, we had the discussion uh, between us because that's a big financial commitment. Uh, but it was the right thing to do for the right reasons at the right time in a sport that we both loved. Uh, and so, you know, you lead by example. Buffy and Ray felt it was the right thing to do to bring back men's tennis. And to the Sun Devil players, Kirkman says their impact will never fully be understood. Not many people in college athletics or in the world would do something like that. So for someone to really take something personal out of their life and put it into yours, uh, makes you feel very special. The success of the recently reinstated team is refreshing for the Andersons to see. And Buffy said as soon as Hill was hired, she knew something promising was in store. He is a very special person and how he started this program running. I mean, no hesitation, no next season, no getting ready. Just boom, here it is. In year one of a new era of ASU men's tennis, the first season back got started with a bang. And in a way, it seems that Hill and the team is showing the Andersons what their faith could lead to. Not many sports are usually brought back, they're cut. So anytime we're off in California competing against the higher ranked California schools, you know, he reminds us why we're here, who we're competing for, you know, the Fork, Arizona State, it's more than just the sport. Who ASU men's tennis is competing for? the athletic director and his wife that brought the program back to Tempe and the continued and enhanced on-court success of tomorrow they feel is closer and closer by the day. In Tempe, Rob Warner, Cronkite News.